Sarkis. Spike. That's the wrong number. Damn. Dude, he's going full samurai. What gets this kneeling right here? Both of them with rage in their eyes, controlling their character. Yeah, you, you saw that too. <laughs> That's a good one, though. The disjoint on Rory's uh, neutral air is so good to approach with. Is it a disjoint? Um, I believe so, isn't it? I have no idea. I want to say it is, but. 20 YY, we I, boys I'm here. I'm just talking out my ass here. We boys here. 20 YY. Wouldn't it? Oh, Ooh, forward smash, it's gonna catch, catch the chicken. That was really good. Did you see that falling up air to yes. side B? Mm -hmm. And at this percent, he can get like falling up air to, uh, yeah, falling up air to like back air, forward air. Dragon Spook, like he really took this game to heart. I love Roy's up air. It's yeah. like it's like a little bit more laggy, like ZSS Nair. Yeah. Especially the backside, because like the thing about the forward side or the front side mm -hmm. is a short character. You hit them, you're gonna get the weak. With the backside, you're gonna get the hard hit like every time. And they're gonna go flying. Yeah, I see him using that a lot, falling up here. Yeah, so. and on Jigglypuff, mm -hmm. eighty percent dead. Falling up here to back air dead. Oh my! What frame does it come out? It seems like it's very quick. Oh, going for a hard read on probably a roll or a dash to the other side of Roy, but he whipped it. Bombie, yeah. what about Friday nights? Nobody hosts Fridays and still let students go. But like, what Friday, about, Friday. What about work? Uh, Only if we can invite Rebecca Black. Uh, I had a good time here. <laughs> Are you getting off commentary? Just kidding. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> this man said, if only we could invite Rebecca Black. Oh, you're welcome. Dude, she's the best smasher ever. Ooh, oh, that spot dodge. That was sick. What? Is it active for like a long time, his up smash? Yeah, I saw that. That was... What? Ooh. Your is pretty good. If you're in de debate, you're in for a treat. We have like, it was like for like a couple of years, we had like the best debate team or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, UA is. UA is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I. To be honest, like UAF has more stuff, but you know, I mean, for us, UA is easier. Really yeah, cool for much. sure. And Bombi, congrats on hopefully graduating May, dude. You got this. The jab from Roy. Listen, listen when Matt texts, that little like click sound. I like that sound so much. When he texts? Yeah. Or if he air dodges. You hear that? Oh yeah, that I did. Click? Yeah, yeah. This, this, is, this is a cool sound. The amount of detail they put into Smash 4. Mm. So much love for this game. That was the smoothest side B back onto stage I've ever seen. Scary. Oh. Manny, Manny showing up. Oh, ah, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> okay, wait, charge, hmm? charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who, ha, ya, cha? Dude, my nephew, my nephew. Um, when he wants a controller, because when we're playing Xbox or like Wii or something, he'll be like, Toya, Toya. <laughs> oh, that is so my, cute. my cousin just started laughing. He's like, Toya. <laughs> <laughs> the 
first time my first card is super annoying. Yeah, card is pretty annoying, dude. It's hard to fight card. Yeah. So the neutral yo, between these yo, two. Yo, who's that? Who's oh, that? dude, we got KK Slider. We got Slider. Yo, yo dude, who's KK Slider? Oh. Falcon, first oh, sorry. Yo. <coughs> we got a live performance here. This is sick. Good Saturday. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah. Oh. Yo, he's back. He's back. He's oh, back. he's back. He's back. Can we love him? Oh, boy. That forward air from Falco is so good. I think uh, if Dragon Spook was just a little to the left, he would have um, snapped and. He would have gotten the spike. Like, if, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but when they snap onto a ledge, when you spike them, it's gonna be, like, slightly diagonal from it. Not right at the ledge, but slightly away. That's the hurt box you want to aim for. It's oh. weird. Yeah. Are you talking about during the two frames that they're vulnerable, or just. Um, yeah, off? like, as soon as they snap it, like, during that moment, um, yeah. the hurt box you want to aim for. Right before they snap oh, to I it. I remember seeing that, there. like a, like, was, I think it was like BB Smash. Yeah, it? yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, okay. Dude, and so it's I. Fu it's funny because everybody's like, oh, Kevin's like Data Master. I'm like, dude, just, just watch like BB Smash. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I heard, um, I was talking to someone, like, oh yeah, Kevin's like a really good commentator. And I agree, dude, they're a good commentator. Yeah, and I was like, oh sweet, what's make, what makes him good? And they're like, you talk about frame data. And yeah, stuff. And that was Lando. Yeah, and that's that cool. Lando, said that. Yeah, and I agree. It's good knowledge to know. About my commentary. About my commentary. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> so um, because of that, like I realize the hurt box is out there. So I'll just PK fire off ledge, and more often than not, it catches them. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous. And like with some characters, like some people, they'll freak out and they'll just like mash jump and you just throw them PK fire and then, and then guess what? Yeah. They're gimped. <laughs> like I got this cloud gimp for PK fire and he kept pressing up B and I just stopped randomly and he just up B'd so much he just killed himself. You know what I did like twice today? Yeah. I gimped a cloud, side B, who's the SS, I got the weak hit of the whip and there's like Pss. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're such an ass. <laughs> so I saw, I saw Dakpo do that I was like, I'm gonna do that. That's so cool. That edge guard's from Roy. Dude, his, like, ledge. I feel like if he pivoted uh, forward smash, or got it, but, I mean, there was a forward smash anyway, which got it. But, um, at that moment, if he just pivoted and forward smash, it would got it. Yeah. Dude, when you're on the ledge, yeah. that can make you do, like, anything he wants you to do. Oh, yeah, seriously. He's like, you're on the ledge? He's gonna stand there and be like, I want you to, you're screwed. I want you to yeah. neutral get up. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna neutral get up. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, the ledge trumps back and forth. SD. Alright. That's unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate. You never like to see it happen. Yo, Zach. Yeah, 1-1 one, one set going. Read those last two. Zach wasn't there, sorry. He told us about how you gave him like, the chicken strips today. Yeah, he wanted Oh, yeah. For McDonald's? They have mozzarella? Yeah. Whoa, what? <laughs> I gotta go, guys. <laughs> I didn't know how mozzarella sticks. My money. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. He hey, it's seen not, it like 10 times. It's not the typical Falco SD. Like, he just SD'd in HD this time. <laughs> he SD'd in HD. <laughs> Oh man, the lingering hitbox of that. Man, he choosing to just reset it back to neutral as opposed to trying to challenge him right on. Really smart option, actually. Oh my. <laughs> Harvey just used the phrase bomb.com. Shout out to the hood. 
I really like the power shield sound in this game. Yes, exactly. Yes. Forward air, forward air. It's so satisfying to hear like power shield after power shield. Oh so yeah. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Like Dragon Ball Z up in here. Oh my. How is Cam a banned word? I don't think we said it's a banned word. Nice. Oh, dude. So he probably should expect him to up B. He saved that double jump. That, that was, was like, smart. That was pretty low for him, because he went below the ledge. Too. Yeah. That was actually really good positioning. <laughs> it's like, the one thing about, like, lower tier characters, I guess, is, like, a lot of their moves are, like, really high commitment. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you can catch it, great, dude. You're going to get as much as you put into it. But for how unsafe it is, you can get punished pretty hard. Yeah. I have a Zelda on my arm. She's dressed in green. Yeah, dude. That's Zelda right there on the other. Nice. I'm really uh, <laughs> like, I hate Zelda. <laughs> you believe, dude? Whoa. That was on time for me. That. <laughs> no, she's a loud Harvey Leaf. Don't let Banky hear you, Harvey. Banky will burn your house down. We don't have internet and we're streaming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, kidding. he keeps asking. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, man. We would love to play you, but we got this thing going on right now. But hit me up or anyone. We're usually up to play you online. Yeah. Yeah, Banky Dropsheet. Skyward just uh, messaged. Oh, he did drop sheet? Okay. Oh, no, he didn't drop sheet. He's old. He messes with her. Yeah, he plays Ryu more. Way better, actually. Than oh, she. no. Oh. Unfortunate. <coughs> when you main everyone on the roster, you main no one. I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're going to be someone who's like, I'm going to main every single character, you're not going <laughs> to... I mean... Yo. It doesn't mean PP, anything. PP said something, and I was like, that's true. He said... Yeah. If you're... If you're going to main a character, and you want a secondary, master your first character first. Yeah, exactly. Master them. And then, get a different one. Like, I mean, I feel I don't have a solid secondary. I play... Dragon Spook taking that Manny a bit flustered. But if he has a cool head, he can totally come back from this. Or if he just channels that rage into the next match. Um, oh yeah, like you were saying, between primaries and secondaries, dude. So, I mean, of course my primaries mess. And I mess around with Mega Man, but I don't call him like a solid secondary. Because I feel like I haven't optimized Ness yet. So I just keep grinding him. I mean, like, it's okay to have like secondaries and stuff. Just like... Yeah. But to have someone you pull out at moments of notice, you need to make sure your first one did everything it could and it didn't work. Yeah. And that's why you go to your secondary. If you're playing a character and you haven't like fully mastered them, like I'm not gonna lie, mastering characters in this game isn't as hard as like melee or brawl. Yeah. Not at all. Mm -hmm. but, like at that point, if you're playing a character like say like I've never I've never played Ness. Yeah. I just like pick Ness in tournament because he counters someone. I'm basing my game off of them having a bad punish game. Yeah. That's, that's like the worst way to play. I mean, definitely because you never know. Like, what if you're playing a Sheik? Yeah. You're not going to get anything. Like, I say this time and time again, and people ask me, like, because if they're, like, just getting to the game or they're just a casual fan of it, they're like, oh, um, what's the biggest thing you could tell me about this game? One of the things I hit on is every time you go into a fight, you're never just playing the character. You're always playing the player. So, like, you gotta know how that person thinks, yeah. what their habits are. So, I mean, you can show me two different sheets from Alaska. I'll point one out. I'll be like, that's Banky, or that's Harvey messing around with Sheik right now. 
Not yeah. Harvey, I mean Kevin, because Harvey's some shit that I haven't seen. Yo, Harvey Sheik almost beat me. Really? That's your one. Oh my. It was like, it was game two, or yeah. game three, last, last hit. That's nasty. It was like, he could have forward aired me. Yeah. I back aired him. He, he fell through a ledge and I was just like. So we got a last hit scenario for this in stock right here. Falco with the breakdown smash. Doing the splits. Ooh. For my ring, for like, I can change my ringtone. I, yeah. I have ZSS back here on here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw Shine. <laughs> I got put as my background. Yeah, so when people text yeah. me, like, if multiple people text me, it's like multi Shine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That draw dash attack from Dragon Spook taking that. Everybody ripped it on Harvey. Uh, I don't know. It's just fun to mess with you, Harvey. Yeah, that's the big thing about competitive uh, atmospheres. Like, I mean, expect to go to last stock, last hit often, because it usually happens. But what sets the best players from the better players is how you react under that pressure. Harvey can compose himself pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Harvey. It's you got like, this, dude. It's just like... Like, if you come in clutch, like... Trust me, the feeling from coming in from a clutch game, rather than bodying someone, is loads better than you feel from just two-stalking yeah, someone. You feel like you had something on your shoulders, and then yeah. it just, like, disappeared. Yeah, like, the sweet weight coming off your shoulders, it's amazing. Can you, can you legitimately say you have two mains? Okay, so... Okay. So, Zom, say I am, like, ten times better than you. Yeah. What character, what character would you use to beat me? Because I, guarantee, I guarantee you wouldn't stay, you wouldn't switch between Mario and Cloud. You would end up like eventually staying one character. What character would that be? That's your main. Yeah. Like. No, it makes sense. You might be in like a Gerald situation. Yeah. Where you don't really like your main. Yeah. But you're, that's your best. I mean, that's exactly. Like, there's there's a while and where I absolutely hated playing Zero Suit. Really? Hated oh, wait, you, you told me that. It wasn't, it wasn't Come on, long. Come on, dude. Just close off the stock. Close off the stock. Man, you look a bit flustered, dude. Looks like that hit got to him. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. I mean, playing in a competitive atmosphere, there's more to it than just the game itself and the players. Like, yeah, you see the, that double spot. Did you see that double air dodge? It was. That was sick. sick. Opting to go around to stage, but the landing lag was gonna scream a bit. Oh, man, he got a bit too greedy for the four there. That killed? All right. That's crazy. Man. Yeah. That's on So that clutch so moment we were just talking about, man, he's feeling it, dude. He feels like he's ready to rock it. I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do dual main, but mm -hmm. I don't know. But for argument's sake, I would say everyone has the best character. Yeah. Everyone else that falls short of that is secondary. How long has this gone for? Will we start like 2.33? Alright, this is it for the whole King Caboodle. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Zero, for example. Yeah. Chicken Diddy. This is it, dude. Last match, Grand Finals. Yeah, last match. He's gonna get ultimate bragging rights. Do they win stuff? What do they win? Pride. Pride is the best thing you can win. <laughs> That was a. Uh, I feel like he spot shot just three times like in a row. That was even, a good check. But even even zero said he feels like his D is better. Yeah. 
like we've also also seen that his D is better. Like he loses, he's lost like how many Sheik did it so far? Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I think that's a rare case. Like anti beat his Sheik. Yeah. Vinny beat his Sheik, and then he just goes Diddy. Mm -hmm. And boom, because they don't know the matchup from it's a serious perspective. Like, obviously, like zero plays him so fast. It's crazy. Oh yeah, exactly. Like you don't know how to deal with it. All right. Manny, losing the first stock. Everyone wants to get back into it. He just needs to keep a cool head. Matt having so much momentum, though. And even to reset a bracket against Matt and then take him to game five in the second set, that's, that's some next level stuff. I feel like it's easier to sweet spot ledge with side beat with Falco than it is with Fox. I, I don't know. I just feel like it is. Is there a speed difference, or do they uh, animate the same speed? But like, I don't know, dude. It's just, it just feels so much easier. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it is. If Falco's is slower, or faster. I don't know. Oh, he just went for a raw down smash. Not gonna work though. He just got power shielded by Roy. He's waiting for an opportunity. Platform Ooh. moving. Trying to get back to stage yeah. safely. Exactly, exactly, Gerald. It's just different. It's just different. <laughs> like, see. Oh, oh. that's unfortunate. Alright, Manny, come on, dude. I know that Harvey, but like, just getting the sweet spot is just like, I don't know, it's different. Okay. Man, yeah, checking the stock. exactly, Joel. It's just, he's copying his name. So we, we've seen some crazy comebacks. Yeah. We definitely have up here in Alaska, so. That was a really good roll read. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen Manny Di down and away from that forward throw. Oh, and that's a good point. The, the runoff, the runoff aerial only works with that too. Really? Yeah. From like Rory, so like he follows it up with a yeah. aerial. Yeah. So when you're on stage, your best bet to get out of Roy's combos is to Di down and away and attack. All right. Dragon Spook winning it. Congrats, dude. Yeah. Hug it out. Yeah. Good sports. Good sports all around. Woo, Dragon Spook. Dragon Spooky, five me.